Question 2. Distinguish between common mistake type 1 and common mistake type 2. If the answer to a DS question requires a yes or no answer, apply CMT1. Otherwise, apply CMT2. Note 1. Is x equal to 0? Condition 1. x equals negative 1. Condition 2. x equals negative 1 and 1. Solution. Distinguish between common mistake type 1 and common mistake type 2. If the answer to a DS question requires a yes or no, apply CMT1. Otherwise, apply CMT2. Common mistake type 1, or CMT1. Yes is an answer, and no is also an answer. In other words, the answer will be in terms of a unique yes or no. If you are getting both yes and no from the same condition, the condition is not sufficient. Note 1. Is x equal to 0? Condition 1. x equals negative 1. x equals negative 1 does not equal 0. No. Sufficient. Condition 2. x equals negative 1 and 1. X equals negative 1 is not equal to 0. No. X equals 1 is not equal to 0. No. Sufficient. The answer to this question will be in terms of a yes or no, and therefore we apply CMT1 to this question. It is important to note that there is a value after the equal sign, a 0 in this case. That is why we apply CMT1. Let's take a look at each condition separately. Condition 1 tells us that x is equal to negative 1. This means x is not equal to 0, so our answer to is x equal to 0 is no. The condition is sufficient as it gives a unique answer, no. Condition 2 tells us that x is equal to negative 1 and 1. This means x is not equal to 0 in each case, so our answer to is x equal to 0 is no. This condition is sufficient as it gives a unique answer, no. Each condition alone is sufficient. So, D is the correct answer. Answer, D.